imagine, just for a moment, imagine the person you love, whether it's your best friend or your parents, someone you're with, someone you have invested a lot of time, effort, and pr love. Someone you love, alright? I'm not talking about the, hey, I just want to fuck her because she's hot kind of love. No, 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 no. I'm talking about true, true love. The one that, when she looks at you, you just, you can't stop smiling. She just, it, it pains you to smile after a while. That's the kind of love I'm talking about. Let me tell you what happened to me, okay? What happened to me is I met a girl a while back. I think I was in sixth grade or seventh grade, all right? And she, time stopped. This moment I met her, time just completely stopped. And I, I, I couldn't do anything about it. She was just perfect. I, I could see me marrying her. That's how perfect she was. She was just absolutely phenomenal. I loved her so fucking much from the moment I met her. All right? Now just imagine all those memories that you guys had made together after a long period of time and stuff, right? Just imagine, just for a second, right? Just imagine all that stuff that you both thought were memories and shit like that. Memories that you cherished, that you thought she cherished as well, all right? Imagine one day you found out that none of it was true. She never felt the same way, that she never loved you as much as you loved her, all right? How would that make you feel? And I want you to be honest with me, because I felt this pain several times, and it sucks. There's only one time that I, I, I still can't get over it. I'm still not over it, all right? And I'd like to say that I am, because, you know, she wasn't... She wasn't that big of part of my life, but in truth, she was. She really was. And when you find out that all the stuff that you cherished and all these memories they had and those places that were your place and all those things that you said and all the inside jokes, that meant nothing to her. There was no worse pain. It just... It sucks knowing that you're not special. At all, in any way, shape, or form to her. You were just another person. And there's no worse feeling than that. I mean, she could just play you with a violin. Like, to this day, this girl could play me. Just completely and utterly play me for no... She, she could tell me to jump off a bridge, and I would. Just for no fucking reason. Just because that's how much I care. For the sake of that, sh I, she might like me one day. I do whatever she need me to. Alright. I'll think. Alright. Think that all the stuff that you guys were doing, she was doing with other people. Like, I used to Skype the girl every night. I talked to her all the time. I couldn't wait to hear what she had to say all day, all right? It was just, she was pure. She was amazing. She was fantastic in every single way. Imagine that you weren't special, all right? And imagine that she did the exact same thing with several different guys or girls while she did it with you. That's how insignificant you were to her. And she could do the same thing with ten other guys and no feel no fucking remorse. Alright? Look, I know that most people will laugh at this or dismiss it as just a dumb teenager thought. But for those people, I have to ask you something. Have you ever? Alright? And I don't mean that how you ever, you stupid game and shit. Have you ever been hurt by someone so bad that it literally, it literally hurt? Not figuratively, I'm not like, oh, it actually hurt my feeling. No, no, no. I mean, it actually fucking hurts. Right here. It fucking hurts. Alright? It feels like a brick has sunk. And it just, it won't come out. And it keeps sinking. And it slams in the bottom of your stomach. And it makes it turn. And it, there's nothing that hurts more. It's not like a broken arm or tooth pain or any other pain that can be cured with a common medicine or painkiller. It's, it's not like that. And maybe that's why so many people 
like so many teenagers and stuff go to drugs and stuff because they need something that'll work. I don't know if it works. I don't do drugs, but maybe if it works, I don't even know. It it just it can't be fixed. It's it's like a it's a dull pain that never goes away. No matter how much you try, you'll forget about it, right? But you'll see something that'll remind you of it, and the pain will be fucking back. Eventually, you just get used to it. You know what I mean? You. You get used to the pain, and I know that sounds terrible, but there's nothing really that you can do, alright? And let me let me give you a little thing for all those people who still are who maybe haven't been through it, alright? Let me let me give you something to help visualize it, alright? Imagine I give you a piece of my heart, alright? Just a little piece, alright? But without it, I'm not whole, alright? So I give you this piece, alright? And you take it. And then you leave. Right? I'm not going to be whole. There will be something missing from my life. Right? No matter what I do, I'll never get that piece of my heart back. And I, I just... <sighs> so, with knowing that I only have that much piece of a heart left, right? And I have this much pain right here, all right? Imagine what will happen when I meet a girl who really does care about me and really loves me and actually treats me like I should be treated. Just imagine, won't I be a little hesitant to give her another piece of my heart because she might just walk off with it and leave me with even more pain right here? I just, I don't understand why people do it, alright? I, I really don't. I know this has been a really long video. I'm sorry for that. But it's something that makes me really emotional. It's something I've had a lot of problems with. Because I still can't over, get over that one girl. And I just, I don't know. If you have any ideas, please, God, leave them in the comments. Please like my video and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's all I can do.